Hello everyone, this is Jamie Pate and welcome to this video. First, I want to say thank you to scrapbook.com for sending me the brand new distress color. In case you're not sure why you're here, we are revealing Tim Holtz Ranger's brand new distress color and you can see it played out here in a couple of these makes, but here we go. Ta-da! Villainous Potion. Can you even believe that name? Isn't that Amazing. What a dramatic, intense purple this new distress color is. And actually, it's kind of my vibe right now with some of the things that have been happening here in my studio this season. So I'm a little excited. First, though, I want to show you this. To start, I want to use the distress oxide through a stencil and then show how it goes with a couple different distress oxides I have sitting right here. So I'm just going to apply a light application of the Villainous Potion to my Ink Dome Blender. And I am going to go for the light touch to start. So I'm just lightly taking the oxide ink through the stencil just to start my background. And once this is how I am happy with it, then I will go about adding some more layers of color. But this is how this is going to start. And yes, so you can tell pretty light compared to how intense this color really is, right? That's okay. That's how I like it. I'm going to use this next stencil here with ripe persimmon and just add some um, texture detail up here in the left hand upper corner and then also down here in the bottom right hand corner. I'm going to check and see what that looks like and I'm pretty happy with that. So it's just one of those design features that just kind of brings the eye across the surface of whatever it is that you are making. So then I'm going to take tea dye and another blender and do the same thing here with the these hexagons and kind of give just a little bit more interest detail around these corners. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that so far. While I have the tea dye out, I'm going to ink up my blender just a little bit more and go ahead and add some color to the edges. Super easy little concept here and yeah I am kind of going hard on the edges and that's sort of my intent. I'm going to do the same thing now with basically the residual <laughs> the residual color that is still on my ink blender. I mean the villainous potion is so dramatic that it just it's like it's like a little goes a long way. And so we're going to be Good with that. Now what I've done already is playing with some of the distress sprays. I made this little background just to play. Didn't really have any intention, but I really did love the colors. And you can see I went ahead and die cut out this great leaf. And so I'm going to embellish that on there. Then I took the best day ever phrase stamps from scrapbook.com to make my sentiment. And I have stamped it with the Distress ink. And I'm just adding just a little bit more color. I'm gonna kind of pop it up right there on top. Okay, I've stapled the leaf in place. I'm gonna grab this 1 8 inch foam. You can tell I practice here on the other side. That's kind of a common thing I might do if I don't like how it prints the first time. I'll just flip it over and just pop this right here. And you have a beautiful card cover, just a, a gift tag, um, something to add to your art journal. There's just whatever you want to do. The tag tags are just so awesome. I get a little excited about them. So that's our first little make. Okay, this next technique is create a background to then create some die cut embellishments. So this time I'm going to use a Distress Oxide Spray and I've also grabbed dried marigold and tattered rose. I'm going to start with this heavy stock tag. I'm gonna add water to it 
and we're not looking again for any kind of end. I'm going to just add a little bit of color of each of these, <laughs> if I can get it on the tag, right? And I'm going to do the Villainous Potion first. I'm going to blend in some marigold, uh, what's that called? Dried marigold. And then one of my favorite colors, Tattered Rose, right there on top. And I'm getting a little muddy in there, so I'm going to tap some of that off because I don't really want it that muddy and dry it. When I went over this with my paper towel, I kind of purposely brought some of the purple up here a little bit. And I'm going to add a little bit more of the tattered rose. I'm going to dry it again and then I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. Okay, I've cleaned up my work surface and I just dried this. I want to make sure this is really dry for something that's going to, that we're going to add to this in a moment. So I have these um, etched autumn leaf dyes by Spellbinders. I'm going to cut a few of those out of here. All right, I'm going to pop these out of here. And the reason why I went back and made sure they were extra super dry is because I'm going to take the Distress Oxide Spray and do some splatters on the top of this. And you have to be careful because sometimes those will bleed and I don't really want them to bleed. I want it to be more of a splatter. So I'm going to splatter them a little bit, then I'm going to dry them again and then show you what I have in mind for this distressed background and these sh um, leaf shapes. Little splatters, here we come. And I really like how these turned out. <laughs> the splatters are going everywhere but where I want them to. Isn't that the way sometimes? <laughs> you just got to go with it and just got to embrace it. Okay, before they start wanting to react a little bit, I'm going to dry them. Okay, those are dry and I am pretty happy with how just awesome the background is. And what I cut it out of is pretty cool too. So be sure and save that because you can find that in your art journal as well. Okay, so these are just great as a, unto themselves, right? They'd be great as pre-made embellishments for any of your paper makes. However, I do something that is called, uh, I kind of call it my daily book. It's an art journal, but it's something I like to get into um, every day. I just try to make a simple three and a half. Actually, this piece of paper is three by five and a half inches, and that's about all the bigger that I make this. And I'm going to show you what I do. So I decided to come back in here with some more of the Villainous Potion with the Distress Ink and lay that here at the bottom portion of this page. Then I grab the Ledger Script stamp and I'm going to take the same colors as before. So I grab my Tattered Rose and just on this upper half, I'm going to ink up my stamp and lay it over on the top. It's going to kind of maybe cross over a little bit here at the bottom, which is fine. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to come in here with my stamp block and just press that down well. And then I have just a real subtle script going on there, right? Next, I've grabbed this round stamp. I'm going to use now the dried marigold, just like the sprays that we used. I'm using the inks on top as well. All right, so then last, you know what we're going to do. I'm going to just grab my smart glue, and then these guys are going to kind of be, look like they have this little bit of falling effect. And um, let's see, probably like this. There we go. So I'm just going to add some glue right here in the middle. I don't want it flat by any means. I do not mind that my day book, my daily book, has um, some width to it and it doesn't go flat. It's just, I love the layers and I love this texture. I'm trying to decide how I want this best. Okay. The last thing I'm going to do is in my little book, I like to have always an encouraging, positive term, phrase, word, something. So this one is start your day with a grateful heart. I'm going to use the Distress Ink again for this. And I'm just going to add this actually right here on the edge. And 
this will then be glued into my book. And, and so that's just one way you can use these background die cuts and super beautiful with the Villainous Potion. All right, I love to use paint on a jelly plate. So I'm taking the Villainous Potion. I already have some added to the surface of my jelly plate and then some Victorian velvet as well as Tattered Rose. I'm gonna take my brayer here and just kind of create a bit of an ombre effect going down. I might have a little bit too much paint here, so, but you can just always paint that off on something else. And I'm gonna come down here and pick up this Villainous Potion. And I'm going to make a print right on here by rather just gently rubbing over that with my hand. And I have this great ombre effect that can be used just as it is. Cut it up into tags, die cut it. Obviously the possibilities are endless. Now what I wanna do, I have cleaned off my jelly plate a bit. I have some white paint here in my stash. I'm just gonna add some white paint to the surface, do the same thing, brayer that out, and then grabbing a stencil, I'm gonna take that first print and print the, basically the stencil dot on top of it. Super fun. Obviously you could take and stencil over it, but it's just a way to print. Let me show you what I did with this now. Okay, that jelly print was cut into this rough heart, which I love. I love how it looks. I'm adding it to this layout right here in which I've added some stamping with the Villainous Potion. I colored a chipboard heart with the Villainous Potion. And I also have these little quote strips that have been highlighted with a bit of the Villainous Potion. And that's just one other way to add that gorgeous brand new distress color to your mix.